Hey guys, and welcome to a movie review of the movie, The Snarling. So, today I recently watched The Snarling, and I thought this movie was really good. Wow, I did a really good job making this movie. So, the story is about, there's these, there's this movie set, right? And then they're filming movies. And, uh, the random members of the cast and crew, and some of the, um, movie actors go missing. And they were filming around a zoo, and there was wild dogs. So, every... So, and then it cuts to this bar scene, and they're talking about it, you know? And then there's these three people that I don't know the names of. But the directors are working in the back, and they walk up to them like, Hey, do you want to be in the extras of the in, a, in our zombie movie? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then... They go to the movie set, you know. They think one of the main characters looks like the other guy who was just a humongous jerk throughout the movie. And they think he's a werewolf. So, of course, they get into this argument scene about, you know, why are you going to place me with him? Because he didn't want to do the scene because he decides to do what he wants. He's, like, arguing, why do you want me to do the scene? That person looks nothing like me when they're actually just the same actor playing each other. Um, it's just the same actor playing each other. And then he has to go to the hospital because he touched the light that a guy put a sausage in to warm up his meal. And then shortly after, they're like, we'll film just all the scenes with you since you look like him. And all of his close-ups seems to have been done. So we just need some mid-shot scenes and, you know, far-shot scenes. And then one of the cast members turns into a werewolf at the day of the filming. And then that sausage, as I said earlier, it kills him. And that was just a weird movie. I, I really liked it, though. A, a wild-eye entertainment, I mean.